Hi everyone, this is Jason Parker. I am the editor and webmaster of FridayThe13thFranchise.com and today's brand new review will be of NECA's Ultimate Friday the 13th 2009 Jason Voorhees figure. And as you can see, there has been a lot of other items that the company has released from the film over the years, um, but mainly from 2009 when the film was released theatrically. And uh, there was a replica hockey mask, there was also a replica machete that was uh, released that year. Uh, there was also a 7-inch figure. I don't have that right now. Um, I don't have it out to, to kind of uh, show, but I also do have the quarter-scale Jason Voorhees figure that was released, and this thing is a monster. We'll get into that a little bit later on when we do a comparison of the figures. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, really exciting um, that they were able to get this figure out. And as you can see... There is a great amount of detail on, on the figure itself. Um, some differences between this figure and the original 7-inch figure, as well as the quarter-inch figure, is right away the, the jacket is darker. Also, the shirt uh, isn't as tan as the, the shirt on the quarter-scale figure. And I know comparing the quarter-scale and the 7-inch is, you know, going to be obviously different. There's going to be a little bit more detail that can be put into uh, the jacket, the shirt, and whatnot. But the color is a little different. Um, not a big deal. Uh, just something that was noticeable right away. Um, so you can take a look at that there. And then I took the uh, I took the the hockey mask off of the quarter inch scale. And the one thing that the only thing that always has always bugged me about this figure is the fact that when you take the hockey mask off is that the hair is attached to the back of the straps for the hockey mask. And I, I know that had to be some kind of a creative decision at some point, but uh, I really did. I've never liked that at all. It's, it looks really bad, but the figure itself is great. Just, you know, the hair hanging off the back of the straps always bothered me. But luckily with uh, the new figure, um, you can take the hockey mask off. And the hair stays on the head now. So for those of you who don't have the figure yet or are worried about that, um, you know, not a problem anymore. Um, let me take a look at the box real quick. That the Oh, actually, first of all, we'll just take a look at the figure itself. A lot of detail. Um, one of the things on the quarter scale figure, and I believe the seven inch figure that was released originally, um, they they seemed to have put a lot more like dirt and mud on the lower pants legs, and also the boots were a lot dirtier. Um, again, I don't know if that was just a creative decision this time to not have as much as on there. It doesn't. It's not like a deal breaker. I think the figure still looks awesome. I don't think it's a problem at all. But uh, that was just another thing I noticed right away. But you have the strap holder for the machete, which still looks awesome. I love that part of the of that character from the movie itself. And uh, the one thing that they did here, as you can see around the back, instead of putting the hair on the back of the straps of the hockey mask, they they did something here where they, they kind of attached the hair to the head. It looks a little odd. I don't know why it looks so artificial, but I'm assuming that's something they just had to add later. Um, again, not a huge deal. I mean, even if you're displaying this character without the hockey mask on, you're usually doing it from the front and it's not going to be noticeable. And most people aren't even going to care. But it, again, just another observation, uh, with the different hair on there. We'll move that guy off to the side for a little bit. And then let's take a look at the, the box art, uh, for a moment. It's great. I, I mean, most of you have seen this online already when they posted uh, the reveal of the box uh, art. But uh, yeah, it's just it's their standard packaging. Um, it has the uh, the front opens up uh, with Velcro on the front, so you get the window box. So if you display your character inside the box, then you have that as well. And then one thing that NECA is doing now is I think they mentioned on social media is now they have the uh, cardboard attached for uh, hanging up on the um, the racks at the stores. So instead of having the, the, the clear see-through plastic, now the cardboard box is part of it. So let's take a look at the uh, some of the weapons that come with this. And then, you, of course, you have the axe. Um, 
It's the scene where he throws the axe into the back and then he ends up in the whirlpool later on, which they never, <laughs> in the theatrical version, explain how he ended up all the way in the whirlpool. Um, of course, you have the uh, detachable uh, head that has the sack mask. You have his machete. You have the fire poker. Uh, you have another axe. And then you have the screwdriver um, that he shoves into Chewie's neck in the boathouse slash tool shed uh, in the movie. So so there are a ton of weapons that come with the uh, with this this figure that obviously did not uh, come with the figure that was released in 2009. Um, but overall, I, again, it, the, the, the articulation on these figures are leaps and bound above what they even the company NECA released themselves years ago. Um, I, and I think with the release of this figure, you just get much more detail in the face. I think there's more detail. In fact, I know there's more detailing on the jacket, the shirt, and the pants overall. But I think the articulation uh, in the joints is one of the bigger uh, adds to this figure, along with all the different weapons that come with it. Now, you might be wondering why I left all of the, um, the weapons and the other head in the plastic and didn't pop them out. Well, that's because this figure is gonna be given away as part of a contest on the website. Um, so if you're watching this video right now, the contest has started. And all you have to do for the contest is basically just comment in the comment section below and just tell us your favorite part of Friday the 13th, 2009. Um, I would appreciate no negative comments. I understand people don't like the movie or they have things that within the movie itself that bother them, but let's try to keep it positive. Um, anything about the film that you like, positive moments, characters you like, uh, best kills, anything like that. And uh, so go ahead and post that in the comments below and I will randomly choose a winner. We will run the contest for two weeks for starting today. And that's it. Um, just wanna thank uh, NECA for sending the figure and allowing us to give this away as a contest and I uh, appreciate everybody watching the video. Also, I appreciate everyone that visits the website, follows us on social media. If you have any questions, hit us up on the site or on social media. Other than that, uh, good luck to everybody with the contest and talk to you later.